Hello, this is Casey from the Kitten County Public Library here in our local history and genealogy department, live from our archive room. And again, this is another part of our Adventures in the Archive series. Uh, from the title, you probably noticed that this is What's New in Janky. That's the genealogy in Northern Kentucky um, database that we have um, created in-house for the department. Um, if you're not familiar with that database, that's sort of like our faces and places. Um, that's all our photograph collections. Jinky is a lot of our print material that we have digitized and uploaded and indexed. Um, so if you're looking for maybe a certain name or, you know, maybe a certain um, church record, things like that, that's going to be found on Jinky. And um, just to be aware, everything in this room, not digitized. Uh, that would take a long time to do that. Sometimes people wonder, oh, well, can't you digitize everything? No. But a lot of what we get um, through donations, we try to digitize and put online for Janky. So if you're looking for something, um, maybe in a certain category, like again, like church records, coroner's reports, um, yearbooks, Janky is gonna where it's gonna be where you gotta look for that stuff. So again, if you're not familiar with that database, um, so again, our video today is just gonna be an update on some new collections that have been digitized and uploaded to the database. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the Catholic Theater Guild of Northern Kentucky. Um, now for this collection, a lot of these are going to be scripts and plays that the guild put on. And even though you might not think that has any kind of genealogy um, merit or research-based um, research kind of material included, um, a lot of the stuff like that that we get donated, um, there's you got to find a lot of old businesses included in these um, scripts, a lot of names for people that were involved with the theater guild. So it's not just kind of like a fun thing to look at. There is a lot of material there that if you're looking for somebody um, in your family or a relative, um, this might be a place to look if you know that they were involved in something like that. So again, you know, we're always trying to kind of point out um, maybe different avenues of research for people that you might not typically think of beyond, you know, the ancestry and the non-circulating research materials in the department. Uh, next up, we have newsletters from the Wiedemann Brewing Company. Um, this is a really cool collection. It's got a feature history of Wiedemann Brewery. A lot of um, cool photographs were included in this, a lot of names. Um, a lot of names that I see come up a lot in um, other patrons' research um, are included in this as well. So, you know, that was a huge brewery. A lot of people worked there. So maybe if there's someone in your family that you know that worked there at one point, this might be a good collection too to take a look into. And beyond the fact that brewing history is so popular here too. So it's just kind of something cool to look at as well. Um, and again, the years on that are going to span 1940s to late 1950s. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but the Catholic Theater Guild, kind of the same um, time period, late 40s to 1950s. Um, we, next up, we have the McCoy Family Collections Papers. Um, this is a new addition to that collection um, a couple months ago. Uh, my colleagues in Lane Coon and Sierra Earl went out to Independence to collect um, these materials. It's really, really fascinating. We have included a lot of ledgers, um, some personal documents from the family. There's even a diary included from the young daughter um, that was in that um, homestead. Um, so again, it's a really um, great collection to add onto that McCoy family uh, collection we already have here at the library. And it's a really cool glimpse into what life was like um, during that time period as well, especially that diary. So I'd really encourage people to check that out. Next up, we have the Dobbling, I'm going to butcher this, Camp Urschel Funeral Home Records. And this is a collection that is actually on loan to us um, a couple of years, probably prior to um, all to COVID. Um, the director of the funeral home reached out to one of our former co-workers about possibly getting stuff digitized. So he came back to us to get this uh, project um, started rolling again. So we have a couple of books that we've started to begin digitizing and put online. Um, again, a lot of um, death dates, um, different uh, funeral homes in the area. It spans Northern Kentucky and some Cincinnati as well that I've seen. So if that's um, death records, um, things that you're looking for, this is a new place to look as well, in addition to all the other records we have online. Um, and that's gonna span 1906 to 1913, and then 1929 to 1938, and more years will be um, included as we get more material from the funeral home. Um, next up is the Weyerhaeuser um, Sales Company. This is a sort of an order collection that we've had for a while in the archive, and just recently we've decided to put those online. 
uh, for people doing house research this is going to be um, it's kind of an interesting addition to that this is going to feature more material about houses themselves versus maybe deeds or the occupants that live there so again if that's something that you're interested in maybe you bought an older home and you're dumb, not really sure you know what type of style it is um, some of the floor plans and collections here might give you um, kind of a peek into what that might be and lastly we have the Glen O Swing and Robert Kana family collection um, again if you've ever lived in the area you're probably familiar with that name Glen O Swing um, named after he was the one named for the elementary school in Covington um, and of course he started to work in public schools in Ohio from 1909 to 1918 and then uh, by 1919, he was the principal of Holmes High School. So a lot of material pertaining to him um, is included in this collection. And likewise, um, Robert Knopf was in the music edu education um, in Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati. So a lot of material pertaining to him as well is included in this um, collection too. So that's just kind of a taste of what is new in Jinky. Um, everything, a lot of stuff is getting added as you know months go by. So definitely check the website periodically to see what's new. Um, and again, just uh, to let people know some upcoming events, we have the Fort Mitchell House Tour. That's going to be September 18th at 6.30 p.m. And then the St. Mary's Cemetery Tour is October 7th at 9 a.m. in Morningview. Um, and of course, you can head to kittenlibrary.org, go to the Genealogy Local History page, and we can get more um, information about those upcoming events. So that's it for um, our video today, and we'll hope to see you back next month.